And now, your first alert five weather. Dry and mild tonight from kissing camels to flying horse all the way up the hill into Green Mountain Falls. Calm conditions across the area as well. It's also 45 in Pueblo. Light breeze out of the airport north at six miles per hour. Here's your big weather story. Here's what's going to happen for your finally Friday. High pressure is going to feed this little surface trough out to the east of us. That'll create a downslope flow. Compressional heating as that air is forced down the eastern slopes of the Rockies. It's going to be bone dry humidity values in the single digits at times tomorrow. And it's going to be breezy. Look for that wind to kick up from late morning into the afternoon hours out of the southwest. Peak gusts from 25 to 30. 35 miles per hour and with our dry fuels that is the recipe for dangerous fire weather conditions across the area so red flag warning 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. for most parts of the news 5 viewing area if you see smoke call it into 911 as quick as you can keep those cigarette butts inside the car and again a dangerous day so just be cognizant of what's going on across the area going to see two cold fronts rolling over the weekend one late tomorrow night into Saturday stronger one coming in late Saturday night into Sunday we'll have an upslope flow around here better snow dynamics and it's to get a lot colder. Sunday's highs more than 40 degrees colder than what we'll have tomorrow, and I think we'll see some widespread snow at times during the day on Sunday. First piece of energy comes in early Saturday morning. This is 6 a.m. Light snow showers in northern El Paso County up into Metro Denver. That piece of energy rotates off to the northeast. We'll be dry for the rest of the day. Then that second piece of energy coming in on Sunday. There you go. We're going to see snow at times off and on throughout the entire day on Sunday, even into Sunday night, and it could last into early Monday. Monday morning, not a big March snowstorm, but we will see one to three inches of snow from the Springs, northern El Paso County, Teller County, eastern Fremont County, not quite as much across the Pueblo area. Good snows from the wets, the wet mountain valley into the Sangre de Cristos, but the big stuff is going to be found across the San Juan Mountains. Wind and snow from tomorrow all the way into Sunday could see 18 inches of wind driven snow, so quite an adventure trying to navigate Wolf Creek Pass. If you're going to be rolling westbound over the Continental Divide over the next few days, certainly allow yourself a lot of extra extra travel time. Warm start this morning, lows into the 20s and 30s, and again, record high temperatures in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Still warm out there tonight. Look at Springfield, 59 degrees right now. Lows tonight will be a product of that downslope flow and also some clouds trapping some of that heat we generated today. So look how warm tonight, 39 the low in Colorado Springs. We didn't get close to that for highs a couple days last week with that Arctic air. And tomorrow, one last unusually warm day. If you're a warm weather fan, you'll want to get out and soak it up because we have got some big changes on the way. A cold front comes in, knocks us back into the 50s on Saturday. Colder still on Sunday with snow. Wanted to break it out with that day planner on Sunday. Good day to hibernate inside the house. Again, one to three inches will be common across the Pikes Peak region. Sunshine by Monday afternoon, mild Tuesday into Wednesday, and then a new storm could bring more snow, certainly colder air again on Thursday. Pueblo close to record heat again tomorrow. Then a couple of cold fronts will crash the party. Barely above freezing Sunday with an inch or two of snow, mainly on elevated grassy surfaces. Want to keep your mind indoors, occupied indoors on Sunday. New storm by Thursday, more snow possible. Canyon City, that weather roller coaster going to give you a bumpy ride from the 70s down to the 30s, then warmer again by Wednesday. I have an unsettled colder day Thursday. Stay tuned. It's changes quick here during the month of March. Woodland Park, a premature fling with spring again tomorrow. Then you'll need the snow gear and a heavy coat. A lot colder with one to three inches of snow by late Sunday night into early Monday morning. Another shot of cold snowy weather by Thursday. Guys. Mike, thanks.